oh, I was going to start drumming. I would have made a big mistake. I should have told you this clear back in lesson one. These are hand drums. You play with your hands. But look at my hands. I have a watch. I have a bracelet. I have three rings on. That's really hard on your drums. Hand drums are supposed to only be played with things that are hard as your hands or softer. So I have to take off my rings and my bracelet because it has not just leather, but it has metal snaps on it that would damage the drum. And I have to take off my watch because it also has a metal buckle that could damage the drum. So I'm going to put all these away. And now I'm going to play, get out, get ready for you and play some warm ups on these drums. Here we go. Lesson number seven. Seven lessons. Okay. Today we're looking at some new drums. Okay. These drums I have in front of me now that I these are stand-up drums that are on a, a metal stand. They're called congas. Everyone say conga. Very good. Now these congas are Latin American style congas. They are made out of fiberglass with metal tie-down bars. The skins on top are synthetic skins. They're not made from an animal. They're, they're made with plastic and other kinds of fibers. And they're played usually in, when you're standing, they're played in groups of two or more. This drum right here is actually the conga. This one right here is, called, is the smaller one called a quinto, a little bit higher. And if you have a third one, it would be bigger, and it's called a tumba, okay? So we have congas. Now, I want to turn the camera a little bit and show you some other drums. These two drums here are called bongos. They're even higher pitched, okay? They come in groups of two. Sometimes you play them on a stand like this, but you can also play them sitting down and you hold the, the bongos between your knees. It gets hard on your knees after a while, but it's possible. And the drums go from high pitch to low pitch. And you, if we include the congas in, we go from high pitch to low pitch. get the whole range okay today we're going to learn to play Congolese rhythms and the Congolese rhythms are they have more strokes now the strokes we have been learning are West Africa okay we know bass tone slap and the ghost tone those are West African. Now, con the Congo is in Central Africa, and they have their own style of drum. Notice that the conga, which is named after the Congo, is very narrow on the bottom. If I lift this up, you can see it gets really narrow on the bottom and wide in the middle and narrow again on top. So it's the opposite of a djembe. Okay, so today I am going to pull down my conga, put it here in front, move this so that we can see a little better, okay, and we'll be playing conga music with the conga drum. 
Okay, so let's start with our warm up. Regular warm up. I play three, you play three. Bases, tones, slaps, flams, and we'll roll it at the end. So here we go. Ready? I play three, you play three, starting with the right hand. Left hand. Both hands. Right hand, tone. Left hand. Both hands. Right hand, slap. Left hand slap. Both hands slap. Flams, bases. Slap, um, tones. And slaps. And roll it. Very good. Good job. Our, we're all warmed up. Our hands are good. Now, if your hands are tingling, what does that mean? Yeah, you're hitting too hard. Just soften it down. Don't hit so hard. I, I just noticed when I did my slaps, I did just a little bit too hard. Okay? Now, we're going to talk about Congolese strokes. The Congolese strokes, if you remember way back on the first lesson, I talked about never, always bouncing your hand off to get your full note, okay? In Congolese strokes, you have one of the strokes is called a muffled bass. That means you leave your hand down, it goes thud. You leave it down. There's also the muffled slap. And the muffled slap is done the same way as a slap, but you leave one hand on the drum. So here's a slap, here's a muffled slap, okay? So you play it the same way, but you have one hand on the drum. You can do it both hands, okay? Muffled slap. And the one that is most famous for Congolese playing, playing on the congas, is called a heel toe. This part of your hand is your heel, this part of your hand is the toe, and you go heel, toe. Two hands. Okay, so that's heel toe. Okay, so the first rhythm I want to teach you now, we're going to move all the way from sentences and silly words and everything. Now that we're starting Congolese style, we're going to actually say the names of the strokes as we do them. So we say bass and we say tone, we say slap, we say muffled bass, we say muffled slap, and we say heel toe. We don't say any sentences when, we, when we're doing Congolese style drumming. So our first rhythm is called the first heel toe rhythm. And it goes like this. It goes tone, tone, muffled bass, muffled bass, heel, toe, tone, tone. Okay? So you do go back and forth, but your heel, toe is the right hand, and your last tone, tone, is your left hand. So let's do it together slowly. It goes tone, tone, muffled bass, muffled bass, heel, toe, tone, 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 muffled bass, muffled bass, heel. That's how it goes. We're going to speed it up just a little bit because it's meant to be played pretty quickly. Okay? So we're going to go. Thank you. 
that first heel toe is also a very basic conga rhythm. If you listen to Latin American music or jazz music that has a conga playing in it, you'll hear that. And what you really listen for is that last tone tone. Because that, and you'll hear, and once you hear that with a conga drum, you'll go, oh, I know that one. Okay? So, the second one is called a muffled slap heel toe. And it goes, uh, bass, slap, heel toe, tone, tone. So it's almost like the one, so, but it goes, muffled bass, slap, heel toe, tone. I got mixed up. I always get mixed up. My, my hands want to do something different. Muffle slap. Keep saying it. Muffle slap, heel don't 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 muffle slap, muffle slap, heel don't don't don't. I I just gotta keep practicing, don't I? So do you. Okay. So let's do it again. Let's do it for a while. Muffle slap. Okay, you get the idea. We need to keep practicing, don't we? Now, the final thing of this is that Congolese rhythms don't usually stack on top of each other. They line up. So we play the first heel toe. And then we play the feel, uh, full slap heel toe right after. And we go over and over that way. So... I'm still missing, messing up. So let's say it out, okay? Tone, tone, muffle, muffle, heel, toe, tone, tone, tone. No, doesn't go with the tone. Tone, tone, muffle, muffle, heel, toe, tone, tone, tone. Slap. So I'm going to try to do it for about 30 seconds in a row without messing up. So here we go. I'm going to really concentrate. So I'm not even going to look at you. I'm going to look at my drum. Here goes. I messed up on the first one. Can't do it. Tone, tone, muffle, muffle, heel, tone. For a little while, we'll keep going, we'll keep practicing. Okay, it's one that I haven't done a lot, 
I don't do a lot of Congolese stuff. And so I'm going to be learning and practicing the same time as you are. This is lesson number seven. I hope you've enjoyed it. Keep practicing. I'm going to play you out. Keep going as much as I can. As soon as I break, as soon as I mess up, I'm going to press the stop button. Here goes. Okay, see you later.